What's going on everybody? My name is Fliptrick. How are you all doing? Uh, if you saw my last vlog, I mentioned in there that we will be replaying the entire Final Fantasy series. Basically, I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV for the second time. This time I'm actually taking the time to sit, sit through the story, pay attention to everything. And I'm actually liking it quite a bit. I'm starting to appreciate Final Fantasy XIV a lot more than I did the first time after just skipping all the cutscenes. Um, Final Fantasy XIV actually has a, a really good story. Um, through playing that, it, and how do I want to say this? Basically, all the Final Fantasy games, as most of you already know, have been completely separate interviews from one another. They've all had completely different stories, not much continuity, if any. Um, there's just been like certain characters, like Sid is in every Final Fantasy. You have the Moogles, the Chocobos are in a lot of them, um, stuff like that. But Final Fantasy XIV kind of takes everything and wraps it up and puts it into one package which I thought was really, really interesting. Uh, one of the main references they make in Final Fantasy XIV is the Warriors of Light. They talk about them so much, and that refers to the party in Final Fantasy on their the very first Final Fantasy adventure. So, After getting through most of that, there's also a huge like, Final Fantasy XII reference at the end of the story in Final Fantasy XIV. We'll get to that later, though. That'll be much further down the road. But um, basically, I want to play through all the Final Fantasies, and then we'll go through 14 a third time at the end of this entire series. It's going to be a long, drawn-out, extended playthrough. Probably the longest Let's Play series I've, I've ever tried to tackle. But I'm going to start at Final Fantasy, and we'll work all the way up to 14. Hopefully we can get it done before 15 comes out. That's the plan. We've got a lot to go through. We've got Final Fantasy 1 through 10. Then we have 10 to 12, or 11, 12... 13, 13-2, 13 Lightning Returns, 14. Probably do Tactics. I really liked Mystic Quest, so we'll probably play through that one. Crystal Chronicles was really good. Um, Dissidia, a lot of people are into that. So I'll probably play through those. I don't know. I want to do at least the core games, and then we'll probably branch off. I know Tactics is a pretty big deal. So we'll probably jump into that one. That'll probably be one of the first offset offshoot games that I'll do but anyway I haven't played Final Fantasy in forever it's been a long time but I'm excited to do this hopefully you guys are excited for the series um, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna tackle this because I know I remember this game being pretty grindy so I don't know if I'm gonna just cut the grind sequences out entirely or if I should just speed that part up I don't know there's a PlayStation logo <laughs> When's the last time you guys saw that? It's been a while. Alright, having started playing. Already having some issues. Apparently, this recording software doesn't like when I start a PSN classic game. I don't know what happened, but it's working now, so we should be okay. Anyway, like I said, we're going to start with Final Fantasy. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to tackle the grinding. Um, I'm kind of going to need your guys' help to tell me what, you, what you'd prefer. I mean, I could either just cut it out entirely, or we could transition from where I started the grind to where I ended, or we could speed it up. That's probably what I'll, I'll try at first, see if you guys like that. Cause, I, don't, I mean, if I, I could... I could speed up two hours of grinding to like 15 seconds. I don't know if that would even be worth watching. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but we'll, kind of, we'll play it by ear. This first one's going to be like our experiment. Just let me know in the comment section what you guys, how you guys feel about all this, and I'll make adjustments as we go. But let's see what the Warriors of Light were about. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people who've played Final Fantasy XIV who haven't seen or played most of the Final Fantasies. And I, I kind of just want to refresh it. I've played like half of them. I haven't finished most of them, but I've, I've gone through. My, my favorite's always seven, always been seven. That was my first real Final Fantasy. Six, I think, is the best. Mystic Quest was really fun. I really enjoyed that one. This wasn't something you saw on the NES, but it still looks pretty bad. I don't even know what's 
what's going on. What, what is this? It's like watching a YouTube video in 480p. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm sure there's a bunch of people who haven't played through the game, so since I was going to replay them all anyway, I thought I'd share the experience with you guys, and we could all enjoy this Final Fantasy anthology together. So we're going through all of them. I'm going to try to get this done as quick as I can, but I think as quick as I can would still probably be over the course of a year, so... Great darkness shrouded the world. It's funny going back to this, after having not played it in ages, like I don't think, I think the last time I played this was on the NES, I never played any of the remakes. <laughs> Just doesn't look like what I've been playing, I've gotten so used to Final Fantasy XIV. The earth began to decay. It'll be okay though. We're gonna have fun with this. I'm kind of excited. Only a prophecy kept hope alive in people's hearts. The Warriors of Light. When darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. And after journeying far, four young warriors did at last appear. In the hands of each rested a mysterious crystal. These crystals should show up in Final Fantasy XIV also. As you progress through the, the main scenario, you slowly start to acquire them. Alright, now we're looking at the title screen for the third time. 1987. This game's as old. This game's as old as me. Difficulty level adjusted for novice. We're just gonna go normal. I'm gonna play on easy. All right. I thought you could change the the classes. Is that not possible? There it is, okay. So there's the, the warrior, the thief, the monk, red mage, white mage, and black mage. So I'm gonna keep this going off of like the way it was set up in Final Fantasy XIV. So we're gonna go with the warrior, the monk, the white mage, and the black mage. The red mage is really cool, but it's kind of like a mixture of the white and the black mage. It doesn't really, yeah, right there. Dabbles in both white and black magic. Also a decent fighter. It's kind of like, I want to say sort of like a druid. It's kind of like a, a jack of all trades. Doesn't really excel at anything. Um, I draw a rogue with nimble, nimble fingers and precise attacks. Warrior monk strong in both body and mind. Fights best unarmed. I kind of want to keep the classes the same as they are in Final Fantasy XIV. So it's going to take out the, the thief and the red mage. And we'll have the warrior, the monk, the white mage, and the black mage. Which I think would be a pretty good setup. I'm gonna switch this to this guy. 
And for the names, I remember in Final Fantasy VII, I tried to do a playthrough of that, and I changed Cloud's name, and people were infuriated. <laughs> it's like, shut YouTube down, it's the end of the world. Um, so due to that, um, I, I did, did some research real quick before I started this, and found the original names to the Warriors of Light. We're just making one change, because one of the characters was supposed to be a thief, and we're using his name, but we're changing him to a monk. To tie in with the Final Fantasy 14, so don't don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. We'll get through it. But the warrior's name was Zest, so that is what we'll start with. And for the monk, his name is I don't know how to pronounce this one. Should probably figure it out since I'll probably end up saying it quite a bit throughout the, the playthrough. It's S A U B E R. Is that Sober? I think it's Sober. And the White Mage has a silly name. Her name was Daewoo. I'm glad these all fit. I didn't think they would. And the Black Mage was. Nope, I got that backwards. The Black Mage is Daewoo. The white mage is flow. How do we backspace? Delete. There it is. I'm gonna go back. And I guess these names are from. says the novelization Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3 Memory of Heroes. I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is. But those were the, the names that I found. This way we don't have Flip Trick and. Other weird off off names that don't make any sense, so there we go. That's our party. Warrior, monk, white mage, black mage. Sorry about the, the thief to monk swap, but I wanted to keep the classes the same as Final Fantasy fourteen so we can see if the spells carry over or not, see what see what they used from Final Fantasy One. That's really my main attention. Those graphics. Cornelia. That's a server in Final Fantasy XIV. This is Cornelia, the city where dreams are woven. Our king is searching for the light warriors. Wait, can you be? Yes, I am. Please go see your majesty at once. Oh, okay. Are you gonna kick me out of the city? Whatever, fine. Travelers, is it true that you are the Crystal Bearers? Looks like it. The prophecy says, when darkness fails, the world, the world, when darkness fail, veils the world, I cannot read what is going on. Four warriors of light shall come. But your majesty, we have no proof that these are the four, that these four are the true light warriors. We got the crystals should say it all. Surely it is not coincidence that the four warriors bearing crystals have appeared now. Brave ones, I need your help. Please rescue my daughter Sarah. Garland, once a knight in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. We have learned that he is in the Temple of Chaos, north of Cornelia. We are tempted to rescue the princess, but his powers far surpassed ours. Perhaps you wish to cross the Northern Strait. The bridge that once spanned it was lost long ago. If you bring my daughter back safely, I will build a new bridge. I'm counting on you. Alright. I think it's funny in all the Final Fantasies that are in this, I guess, second person view is what we call this, where it's overhead. Whenever you go to the castle, you just, if you just run up, you always end up at the king. A lot of RPGs do that. I think it's kind of silly. You can always just run straight up. 